Hello everybody. I'm a practicing therapist and a doctoral student of psychology. Today I wanted to go over if male height matters based on research, okay? Um, the reason I got inspired to do this is because I feel like at least 30%, this number is completely, it's not, it's, I didn't calculate this, but I feel like a lot of you guys mention I'm attractive, but I'm short, or I really do care about X, Y, and Z, but I'm short, or this is my height, I don't have, you know, the best of luck with females for this reason. And it did get me thinking about height because so many of you guys, so many of you guys bring up your height and I don't judge your height. I don't care. I'm just trying to learn something using research, which is what we all are here for, I hope, for the video. Um, and I also tried looking something similar for female counterparts. However, I was trying to look like maybe it's not height. Maybe for females, it's weight correlated, not trying to trigger anyone, but maybe like weight is more important to females and then height is more important for men. Does that make sense? And so I tried to find that video for both height and weight for females and I found mixed results. So I don't know what to do about that. I'll keep looking. But for males, particularly about heights, I did not find mixed results. I found more conclusive results, I guess you would say, okay? From my perspective, I think it's mainly if he's taller than her but we're gonna look at as height in general because I think every woman is different, but there are some things that we looked at. So this is purely educational. There's no judgment. There's no negativity intended for this video, okay? I'm just making a video to help you guys, okay? So the first reason why male height probably does matter based on this research, it was done in 2025, okay? Um, Cause I'm not invalidating what you guys are saying. You guys are saying height matters. And so I looked into it for you guys, okay? Um, actually, evolutionary biology and actually evolutionary psychology, actually it's a branch of psychology as well, it does show that physical traits such as height serve as indicators of genetic fitness. And so I guess we can say the first point is evolutionary signaling of fitness, I guess. Um, taller stature in men may signal strength, health, and the ability to provide and protect, which um, we saw historically is valued in mate selection. And I thought this was interesting because when I was looking up the results of like their female counterparts, that's kind of where some of this got mixed results. Because some people were saying or some research was saying thinner um, females show uh, a sign of health and strength and I guess the ability to have children. But there was other research that suggested that women with a little bit more curves I guess you could say, signal more ability for fertility. And so that's why I got a little bit of mixed results. I'm still working on, that's, I'm not done with that one yet, but this is something that kind of translates to height with men, okay? The next one is a research done in 2013 that there are some cultural reinforcements of gender, gender perspectives and gender norms is I guess how I'm gonna call it. Um, cultural norms, and I think even media representation, this was kind of done in the research, reinforce that preference of taller men by basically associating male height with masculinity and attractiveness, right? We typically see this where, um, I guess like a main character or like a TV series main or the hero or whatever it is, he tends to be tall, not all the time, but he tends to be, or I've actually seen another type of concept where like you first see him like small or short and then like he gets taller and like everyone's like oh wow that's so cool the first example I'm thinking about and I don't watch tv much so this memory could be like really wrong but like I remember as a kid there was this show which I I'm sure you guys probably know this oh in anime sorry uh dragon ball dragon ball z right I feel like I'm gonna ruin this memory I don't remember and the main guy he was little, he was short at first, right? And then there was this episode, I remember, where he shows up, all grown up, and he's like tall. And everyone's like, oh my God, is that really you? And he's like taller. And then he takes off like a thing, a headdress, something on his head. I don't remember. And then his hair was like a signature type of hair. So they're like, oh, it is you. You've, you're so tall now. And I think that kind of reinforces that oh, you know, he's so strong and now he's tall and he's like amazing and he's the main character. And the research in 2020, sorry, uh, 2013 shows that actually men want taller men. 
sorry, women <laughs> want taller men than men want shorter women. So that was like the difference. So it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, the next one is actually so social status and economic perspectives, okay? Um, this research was done in 2016. Height is often correlated with social status and economic success. It shows, based on this research, that taller individuals actually might be perceived as more authoritative and competent, which actually leads to advantages in professional and social contexts. This perception can be extended on romantic preferences. I'm not sure. That is stretching the research, but I think that fits, right? Whereas taller men are probably seen as more capable. That's what I'm trying to look at. I'm not sure, but that's where I took of it. Um, the next one is actually... Um, this research was done in 2013. It's the same one, but there's another part of it that I thought was interesting. It kind of reinforces what I would say gender role ideology, maybe. Uh, this study actually indicates that basically, I'm not sure how to explain this. She feels like a man who's taller has a higher likelihood of adhering to traditional gender roles. So like she feels like, let's say the traditional gender role is he... I don't know, has a job and she stays in at home. She feels like a taller man is more likely to do that. I don't know where that is, but I think it comes from lots of different factors. And so that's just something I wanted to point in there. Um, and the last one correlates to gender satisfaction, which I found a little interesting and kind of it's a little sad or unfortunate I don't know but it's it is weird but I think there's truth to it and I think part of my channel is I want to give you guys truth even if it's uncomfortable so basically the research shows that a woman's satisfaction has a correlation with her partner's height and their own height preferences so it's like she has a height preference consciously or subconsciously and if he fits that to some extent, she has a higher satisfaction in the relationship. So basically, she tends to be satisfied when her partner is significantly taller. Like that was part of the research. Whereas men are satisfied as long as they are taller than their partner. So it's a little bit different. It's a different dynamic. And I don't think that fits every partner uh, relationship. But I think that fits. Like I'm thinking about my own relationship. And I'm not like I'm 5'3", my partner is not what I call him tall because he's taller than me, but he's not six foot. He's like 5'10", 5 5 5'11", but he's taller than me. So maybe, maybe that's true. That's interesting. I'm not sure what to say about that, but I think that is basically based on all of this. We can basically say that male height, I think it does matter. I think that's just the truth of it. So hopefully that answers some questions. Oh, I'm not saying if you're short or shorter or whatever that correlation is depending on, I guess, your race, your country, whatever height means from that regard. I'm not saying that relationships are hopeless for you. I'm really, really not. I promise that's not what I'm saying. I'm just trying to validate and understand, is this really a dynamic in the psychological context of relationship and the biological context of mating? And the answer is, yeah, it is. And I... It, I'm not saying it's wrong or right. You can still find somebody, but there is this correlation as well. And I think understanding it may help direct where some frustration might be coming from. Not sure, but I hope this video is helpful to somebody. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.